There's not going to be much in this game. They are running into each other in the centre. The ball was taken there by Potter. Potter now kicks it up towards centre half. Put up by Crane. Crane hooks it around here. Players come in, taken by Potter of Collingwood. Now Potter relieves the pressure. Beautiful. Kicking into the centre. Close is waiting there. Close of Collingwood now. Oh, look at a that. glorious drop kick deep down. Goes towards the wing position on that outer side. Big Graham Jack on there, number 14. Not taking the grabs that we expect. Oh, Tottenham shepherding well again. Last price to come through. Gets it across here to Potter. Potter now up towards the centre half forward. Here's a go for Max Richardson. He makes no mistake. Mulcair on the mark there. Max Richardson now takes his kick further afield. McKenna. Oh, leading beautifully, this fellow. Was now, a bad pass. He's got to kick this ball 65 yards or perhaps more to put it through. It comes. Oh, it's a beautiful kick too, but dropping in the goal square they fly. As it slips over, taken away by Quirk. Quirk's hand pass into what centre half back Barry Price. He's got it nicely and gives it to Ted Potter. Ted Potter's kick up towards centre half forward. McKenna well out. Down, comes out with the ball. Jackson swings around his grab by Potter. Ball oh, holding the ball. Oh, give him credit, he tried. Oh yes. Potter now tries a short one out there and it's marked by Jenkins. Jenkins of Collingwood plays on immediately. Collingwood have got the loose man going. It's Dean over there. Dean, nobody near him, but he goes over. But he still gets his kick. Up towards the forward pocket on that outer side. Up goes Waters. Dunn's in there. Collingwood steadying down a little now. Still leading by 11 points. In they go, and I've uh, mentioned this many times today. There's his kick now. Up towards centre half forward. Plenty of. Oh, oh, Potter, a one hander. He's playing it. He's playing it all right. That's how well they're playing. There's Teddy Potter, centre half back now. Goes for the punt kick down the centre of the ground. To the umpire, he must give him 15 yards for running over the mark. Well, consistency will. Uh, by the umpire on this rule has been good all day, although there hasn't been that many of them. Oh, he's been a most consistent umpire, no shadow of doubt. Potter getting another kick from the centre of the MCG. Up over centre half, kick, it's a hurried one. Close to the boundary line on the full, it's over. On the full, and Ted Potter will take it. Then Randall Carlton, Jezelinko right out here on the half forward line. Wall's going to full forward, Jezelinko to centre half. There on that ground. They haven't settled down properly. The kick goes out towards the flank. Mark taken, but it's out on the full. And Potter, well up from his centre half back position, will take the kick in. Nerves if the ball right, Butch. goes over the line, it has to be kicked in by the opposition. There we go. Thompson in the middle of that pack. It comes down to Max Richardson. He gets a hurried hand pass out here towards Tottenham. Tottenham in a bit of trouble. Oh! Was almost unloaded. He kicks. He's put it through. The first goal of the match from the boot of the former captain, Des Tudnam. What about that, Butch? Great play, Teddy. Yes, courageous Great play, play by uh, Desi Tudnam. He ran very hard into Sergio Silvani. It's around beautifully, and the big crowd here appreciating it. Up the woods, Waters, Lincoln, and a free kick will be paid for Waters, the uh, bigger button to Potter in the middle of that pack. Could easily have been paid to Waters too, uh, Butch. Kick now from Potter. It's a good one to the half forward flank on that outer side. Are you kidding about that? This is still a contest. There's Jenkin hitting down. Potter, his centre half back has it. Held but gets away with it. A Lucky. punch again by Greening. They're playing on well. Collingwood. Waters comes through. They're showing remarkable pace. A hand pass back to Greening. Greening's kicking towards Britt. He smothers the ball. The rover number 10 to his right boot. Looking for Carlton Island. Oh, Collingwood through Teddy Potter. The centre half back, number three in your screen, goes for the big kick, looking for Thompson. Particular position we showed you. Up they go, Dunn goes in there with Nichols, the ball comes down here, taken by Wayne Richardson, he's met, however, taken by Potter of Collingwood, Frank Pies, couldn't pick it up, kick off the ground here, sends it to Wood. Oh! Again, it's Earth Callaghan, got one then, but the ball is uh, forced out of trouble by uh, Potter, up towards down towards centre half forward for Carlton. They fly high. Potter of Collingwood comes out with the ball. Potter into the centre of the MCG. Greening of Collingwood with it. Greening wide to the half forward flank on the outer side. There's Tottenham is on top of the ball. Gill is after him. Oh, Tottenham finesses around. Gets his kick down here towards Britain. Britain's mark. Oh, Collingwood doing it on the bit at the moment. Ted Whitten coming from you. This is where I believe Collingwood should finish on top, Mike, particularly after the first break and after the second semi. There's his kick now up to McKenna. McKenna, but from behind, Paul. Paul. But it's out of bounds on the full. 
and a free kick will go to Teddy Potter, the centre half back for Collingwood. Good play by Adams from there to force him wide to the boundary. Under a lot of pressure, Carlton. Potter goes for the kick. The centre of the ground, centre half forward, Jake and the Collingwood Ruckman's in there. Penal of Carlton down towards the centre half forward position. Up goes Robert Balls, couldn't pull it in. Potter of Collingwood comes through. Potter a hand pass to Tudnam. Tudnam steadies and a glorious pass by Tudnam to uh, Greening. Greening back to Tudnam. Oh. Tudnam gets his kick and he's unloaded. His kick is still going. Through they come, Jessalinko in there. Potter picks up for Collingwood now. And Potter drives out, he's looking for Waters. Good and they're play. out of that one. Boy, oh boy, Butch Gale. Terrific play, in towards Price in the centre. Big Joe in the centre of the ground. Oh, it's Carlton winning on the, the ground here, Silvani. Oh, kick. on the top of Potter, and he, Potter will get the free. Yes, kicking in danger. Well, desperate games, desperate measures. He passes out to Max Richardson, steadying it down a little again. Max Richardson looking way up the field for McKenna. McKenna streaking out from goal. The ball's in play, taken by Chandler. Chandler of Carlton up to the half forward flank on the outer side. Two comes Potter of Collingwood. Potter steadies, gets a hurried kick back towards the wing position on that outer side. And Twiggy done his mark. Oh, he's been a hero today. Look at that hand pass now. Oh. Nicely to Price. Price boots a long one in towards the full forward area. Oh, Collingwood. But Bartlett can't take it. Well done, Dean. A great kick getter. Out by Teddy Potter. Nicely done. Well, Potter's done a mammoth job up to date against the brilliant heart. Very experienced player is Potter. Indicates to umpire Shields. Hart was over the mark a bit and gains a couple of yards and boots it down. From behind it was McKellar who the halfback flank is play. Downfield it goes Royce Hart for target. Well done Potter. Beautifully beaten Hart that time. That was a splendid mark by Teddy Potter. Potter, Collingwood kicking hasn't been too good. Rex, huge pack again. They've been flying by the dozen today. Ted Potter stayed down, a left foot kick along here. Get on and he's on the half forward flank, a wonderful solo effort and underneath it is Ted Potter to take a safe chest mark. Warming up on the boundary for Richmond is, is Green and it won't be long before he comes on. A good pass is taken there by Max Richardson getting plenty of kicks in this third quarter. Duns his target all the time and Duns a great target. I thought that was a mark picked up by Britt, the mark goes to Dunn. Dunn then boots it downfield looking for McKenna.